Why does it seem like sometimes the long press activator doesn't seem to work? Full pull long press is my prosthetic tool. You can see the circle means I'm a full press on my little overlay. Now a quick full pull press, you'll see the circle, is still attack. Actually, let's make this bigger so you can see what I'm talking about here. But sometimes, like particularly, you will notice this in a first person shooter. Say you make, you know, it's something I like to do often is I will make a full pull shortened long press be reload. And this doesn't happen all the time, but in certain games, that full pull doesn't seem like it wants to reload. What the hell's going on? Well, it's not that the controller isn't working properly or, you know, it's basically the way we're using long press, we're turning it into a hold. And certain games will register holding R doesn't reload or holding X, whatever the button is. It's going to be something else like interact. So you have to let go of it for it to actually reload. Like this actually, this was an issue when Battlefield 5 first launched. I had to modify my profile, but then like they patched it and they fixed that. So now uh, you can long press R or X and it'll reload. It wasn't like that when the game launched. So anyways, so why am I talking about first person shooters but showing it in here? Because... This one has, it's just easier for me to demonstrate. So we have a long press and I shorten the threshold. I had it as my prosthetic, but let's make it X. So, okay, if I press X, nothing is going to happen because that would be, uh, that would be interact. But a long press, that's when we start our loot, the um, auto loot collection, whirlpool. Vortex. It's kind of a weird, weird thing. So, okay. A full press. I'm like, hey, I want to reload. Well, why isn't it reloading? Well, it's because it's a different function in the game. It's holding that in. So how could I get around that if I just wanted it to be the normal? I can let it go once I feel... Like, once I feel the haptic thunk, I can let it go. Sometimes, like, this has worked. Don't quote me on this one, and it's probably not going to work here. But every so often, this has worked. If I put an empty binding after the threshold, but usually it doesn't interrupt it. Because you can't set long press to be... uh interruptible or non-interruptible. Yeah, it's not working for this one. But that's something that, that has, I swear, that has worked for me at least once. So that function, that uh, approach isn't working here. Which is fine, I didn't really think it was going to. Now what I could do is, one method is you could put, you know, this, this slightly longer long press go to a different action layer that clears holding that in, but that that's way too clunky. We don't want to do that. An easier thing, though, for this is just make this a repeat. Make it a turbo. You could set the time down. It doesn't matter. And then you could fiddle with the haptics. So now a long press. I'm feeling the thunk. I don't know if you can hear it. And we're not doing the loot grabbing animation. Yeah, so now I'm just I'm holding that. And it's never triggering the you know the in-game function of the long press of the holding of that button. The way it, you know, we never get that. And in a first person shooter, like it's you know, you're gonna reload. You once you're once you see the animation of your character starting to reload the clip, you're probably going to let go of the trigger anyways, so it's not like you're going to get stuck in some sort of loop of reloading over and over. But it can be just enough so you know. Or, I mean, like like I was saying at the beginning, uh, or more like the middle, because I was rambling. <laughs> so this... <laughs> I'm peppered in there somewhere. 
you know, where you can just like get into the habit of learning to let go when you feel the haptic of the long press. It's really, that's what's happening is just you're holding the button too much. But if you make it a turbo, I can just hold it here and I'm never uh, kicking into that. Dun, 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 dun. So I could like use that, which would be, yeah, also like bumper is attack, hold bumper is a heavy attack. Well, it's never going to kick into that because the turbo's on. Yeah. Whereas if we take the turbo off, then I could hold in. Yeah. I mean that that's I'm just kind of getting away from the point now, just talking about the turbos. But really, it's using the turbo. You know, if you want it to be, you know, in those situations where a game has different functions behind the press and the long and a hold of that button. But I didn't want I don't want to put this on the regular press. That's just like a personal thing because you know, every so often I will squeeze entirely even though I've, you know, I've got the discipline down pretty good about the soft triggers and full pull triggers. Off, like in this game, in, for instance, like if I'm trying to parry, instead of that soft, I might still ah, like, jam it in there, which I can, or I can hold it, and then it's a different function. It's my, yeah, it's my grapple hook. That's pretty much all I got. That would be why sometimes, every once in a while, you might notice that it feels as though. Your long press activator isn't working. It's not that it's not working, it's just that in certain games there's a dull function behind the key, whether it's a regular press or holding it down. And the easiest way that I've found to get around that is just setting it to a turbo. So yeah, that's it. Just as an aside, this is pretty effing creepy. I feel like the, uh, the sculptor might like to come up here and check this stuff out. Alright, that's all I got. I will see you around.